Carving means the blades are coming out, so the first thing we want to talk about is safety. You want sharp blades so you are not pushing too hard to cut, plus you will get nice smooth lines. And you want your block to stay in place. The best thing for that is a bench hook. Speedball makes one that doubles as an inking plate, which we will need later, so it is a great tool to have. If you do not have a bench hook, or if for some reason you have to hold your block at an angle, just remember, never ever put the hand that is holding the printing plate in the path of the blade. Lino Zip Cutters Lino Zip Cutters from Speedball are a completely different type of cutter. They were developed to fill the need of those who felt that the conventional push-type cutter is not safe enough for younger students to use. Lino zips are made in the form of a hook and are made for pulling towards you when carving a block. Lino zips are made in four shapes, two small cutters and two gouges. In using the lino zip to carve a block, it is held like a pencil. The sharpened edge is held on the surface and pulled toward the user with free strokes. Depth of the cuts will be controlled by the pressure put on the tool as you pull it towards you. The tools are easily controlled, which minimizes the danger of cutting accidents. Now for standard cutting, you will first want to use your number one blade and just outline all the areas where you are going to cut. Basically cutting all around the image here, then cutting on the inside as well, leaving a nice thick outline to pick up the black ink. Once you have done that, you will need a different blade for gouging out all the linoleum in the large areas. Speedball makes it convenient with this handy chuck. Just remove the number one blade, open up the handle, and here are the rest of the blades. You will need the number five blade, so put the rest of these blades down, close it up, and secure the number five with the hand chuck. Then cut away. With the larger spaces cleared, you are going to try a different blade for the fine line work. Go slowly and spend time with each cut. Use the number three and wedge away the medium sized areas. Now use the number one blade for the fine line work as you finish up the image. Gouge in smaller strokes and leaving more linoleum intact. That's all the cutting. Notice that the cuts don't have to be deep. When the ink is applied properly, every little cut shows, so you will want to be careful not to cut through the areas you want to keep solid. Next, brush it off a little with the nylon scrub brush. Get all the linoleum bits out of the image. Now the printing block is ready for inking.